Right, uh, final video for this week. Uh, I'm going to uh, get my uh, deer. I'm going to stick him over here uh, around the back of this cliff. So he's going to have to actually, you know, he's going to try and get to this uh, grass, which I think I'll paint so I can uh, sort of select the terrain. Uh, paint, edit texture, add a texture. Uh, this window pops up and I pick uh, Grassy Hill, add, select it, get a fuzzy brush, zoom in a bit, uh, paint some grass on here somewhere so we can see it from miles away. So there the grass it's going to uh, graze. And as I say, he's he's got a he's got his work cut out to find that he's going to actually move uh, in the opposite direction to the grass to get to the grass, if you like. So let's uh, now he's only got this uh, small uh, sensor that's only uh, fifty by fifty and. Uh, one of the things I like to do is create cubes uh, is create rulers so I'm going to create a cube stick it over there zoom in on it, it's underneath the world for some reason yeah, on top of the world up there and I'm going to make it 50 long so then I'm going to call it ruler Fifty. I mean, you know, you can turn these on and off, but I want to see what fifty looks like. I, I, I know uh, it's often good to relate things to uh, the real world to get a, a, a perspective. So I'm going to duplicate that, make it a hundred long, call it a ruler one hundred. And then I, I know that, for instance, is this ruler uh, who's saying Bolt can run the length of this ruler in about 10 seconds? So that means you and me, we're talking 20 seconds. Uh, grizzly Bear, you know, 7 seconds. So it, it just gives you an idea of. Uh, uh, of, of what you know, some perspective on on like the real world. So I'm gonna stick that there, and I can see that you know, uh, if I make his sensor a hundred, he should be able to get it. And you can turn these off by just clicking that there. Uh, so I'm gonna create his sensor. Now actually, it's not in meters; it's in. Uh, sensors in I think it's almost in pixels I'm going to make it like 300 or something we'll be able to see it when it when it fires up anyway so we'll play it sensor comes out reaches the grass, the grass it is off in the opposite direction to get to uh, the grass and it's quite a it's quite a feat you know is uh, using that nav mesh to figure out where he can and can't go based on his goal uh, there you go he's made of the grass and that's the sort of thing you're uh, this is what you're getting for your money with Rain 1. Uh, intelligence. Not sure if this box will find the grass. It does. It's off. 
Oh, do you know what I've done? I moved his uh, his, his sensor only and left the mob over there. So I'm going to control Z that. Control Z that. Control Z. Put that back. Actually, select the mob this time. Put that there and then play it. So we can increase the uh, the rate at which this box expands. Actually, expanding at 30. So let's make it 130. So it ex the box will expand faster. So save us waiting around. Lens of grass, off he goes. Confused now. Oh, he's having a paddy now. This is. I'm pleased this has happened actually because he's, he's having some sort of fit here. He's uh, stuck. So we'll stop the video and what I'll do is uh, go to my recast uh, and put the recast mesh on and, and, and see see where he gets stuck. Off he goes under the ground and gets stuck. Uh, it's stuck here. So it looks like he's gone up this one and then figured out there's no exit. Uh, and you're going to get this sort of thing with nav meshes, and you've got to uh, sort of adjust your terrain for it, really. What I'm going to do is, and I tend to just flip this on and off. This whole hill is neither here nor there. And the reason, although this angle is not 45 degrees, uh, because we've made the cell size 4 yards, then uh, the distance it, what I think it's doing is saying it takes this tile it takes that tile and it says what's the uh, angle and it says whoa it's more than 45 degrees <laughs> uh, and it actually isn't because it's a, a smaller slope so we are sort of pushing the bounds of uh, uh, rain one and it, it, it's more suited to uh, your typical FPS type level where you know it's quite tight and you, you're navigating around barrels and pipes and stuff as opposed to mountains and but what we can do is uh, 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 just smooth this out or get rid of it actually Set the train out to zero and yeah, we just do that. I do, and obviously, we'll have to do the recast again, which takes ages. But uh, the thing is, if you're like me, you've probably been thinking about making a game and you've messed about with. Uh, 3D art packages and bits of programming uh, and it sort of can be quite frustrating but th that really isn't important anymore if, uh, if you take something like Minecraft uh, that tells us that graphics aren't important straight away do you know what I mean uh, barely any difference between a mic sheep and my dear so uh, if you get uh, get hold of rain one start developing some behaviors then uh, you actually are starting to uh, create gameplay which is the most important aspect it doesn't matter what graphics are like 
the game plays there, you play with stick men. So it's it's really quite rewarding doing this and it's well worth it. And uh, just a, a, a final word while I play around with this. Uh, I've bought a number of things off uh, the asset store uh, over the years. And sometimes uh, the things I've bought have sort of development stopped on them. Uh, the people involved are not interested anymore, but the forums are dead. And you think to yourself, I paid 50 quid for that, and it didn't work in this version. So, uh, a plus point for Rain 1 is it is actively being developed. Uh, the guys there uh, have come under a little bit of. Uh, uh, scrutiny as far as uh, documentation goes but they're building that up all the time it, the new release came out last month so and it's not going to go away uh, this at all so y you know if you do uh, get hold of uh, Rain 1 I think it's uh, it's going to be around and working I wouldn't be surprised if it got uh, incorporated into the the Unity package at some point. It would sort of make sense because uh, there's a lot of development work gone into it, and it's uh, it's very good. I like it. I, I can imagine all sorts of behaviours with this. It's got stuck there for some mad reason. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna. This video is running on long again. He's probably got some uh, problem with this smooth hill here. I think they're a little bit thin as far as when you've got a, a tile size of four yards. You know, this is a bit thin. Uh, but hopefully, that's helped you. Uh, it's certainly worth considering uh, getting uh, Rain One. It's uh, because you actually start developing games when you've got it. So uh, I'll do uh, another video next week. We're gonna gonna do some uh, some wandering. You see these uh, these move and uh, all these actions are, are sort of come free with uh, Rain One. Uh, they're the basic ones to get you going. But I think generally speaking, you create your own class. Uh, and that's something we're going to do next week, do some uh, behaviours. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, speak to you later.